Hi, welcome to the final JP and Jerry's adventures in Final Fantasy 14. We didn't boost them. Uh, Jerry is not boosted per Square Enix's request, which I think is kind of a cool thing uh, that they didn't want to kind of get out there and say like, hey, you can boost past all this stuff. No, you need to see it. You need to do it. I, I It's admirable. I'm into it. I'm about it. So uh, he's pretty close to his first dungeon, so we might be able to run uh, the first dungeon. Um, if you've not seen any of the story content, I guess I won't spoil too, too much, but the quest that he's currently doing, I believe, lead into that first dungeon. So we'll see how far we get today. Uh, I'm currently messing around with Black Mage uh, as I've leveled it to 80 uh, in between last week and now. Uh, and currently contemplating if I want to make it my main. We'll see. I don't know. Ninja's still pretty rough, but we'll see where we go. Uh, Jerry should be getting a stream started here pretty soon, and then we'll get going. I think he's in uh, cutscene land for the first 20 minutes or so. So we're going to be kind of quiet on the front there and let him do his thing. Um, but we'll go from there. So, yeah. Ow. All right. Back to... We're doing some very end... The, the, some would say the endest game stuff you can do. And that's glamour. And it's kind of tough. I kind of want to drop some money on some items, but I haven't. I haven't. We're gonna let's. Okay. No, that's a that's a nope. Hmm, it's asking me if I have the mask. Uh, so they should have given you a mask in your inventory. You have to equip that before you go to the dinner party. It's crazy. I remember that, but I do remember that. Where, would it just be like click inventory? I would see it. Yeah, it should be in your inventory or in your armory uh, chest. One of the two. That's very quaint. Ooh, that actually looks kind of good. Ooh, what die? Ooh. Ah, there you are. Talk to me now. Chat, look at that. All right, might as well go live myself, right? Yeah. Four o'clock. Let's do it. Yeah, we're on the spot. Yeah, chat, that's a little bit of uh Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Well, the front skirt, yeah. The front skirt part, we have two front skirt parts here. We have the pants with the front skirt and the legs with the front okay, skirt. I am Now, we could also do alive. that. And remove that. And then if we dye that black. And dye that black. And dye this black. Never mind, we can't. Okay. That looks really bad, actually. Never mind. I have come prepared a stain. And Chocobos, it, by okay. the way. That looks Chocobos. Right. Chocobos. I saw you practicing on Twitter. I'm never going <laughs> to... <laughs> Never gonna mess that up again. Yeah, uh, Aaron, my fiance for uh, viewers, uh, was like, "Why is Jerry tweeting me how to say chocobo?" <laughs> God, she must think I'm weird. <laughs> Why is this weird guy texting, t tweeting me about chocobos? <laughs> I just told him that, or told her that, uh, you know, you had some some issues. And we were uh, we were working through them. I don't even know how to say it the wrong way anymore that's how that's good that's how you know i just i knew it was something about chocolate that's all i knew i wanted to say because i was in the mood for chocolate that day oh okay okay we're currently looking for okay. some gear chat watching the cut scene with uh now is she uh, kana say is she like what's her title exactly it's not like queen like what's i think ruler? she's like Overseer of Gordania is maybe how I would say it. Yeah, hides. That's I think. Very I think in game way. chat chat saying she is the elder seed seer. That's a pretty kind way to put it. I like that. Yeah, yeah. The overseer. Yeah, she's like that. The, mask, by the way, is I, I kind of want that for the house. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Well, that actually looks kind of cool. What's up, like everybody that. who's filtering in the chat? Our final episode. It's bittersweet for me, but I have a new obsession, which is good. 
Yeah, yeah. You can continue playing. It'll be good. Uh, yeah, show Kobo. Exactly. Uh, by the way, by the way, make sure you're watching in squad stream view. Uh, so you can see Jerry's stream. He's obviously seeing some cutscene stuff. For me, we're just checking out the true end game here, which is the glam glam. The glam game. I actually kind of, okay, let's, I kind of like this look. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of about it. You know, it's like, I battle, but I also, I've got some legs. Don't forget about those. How we feel about it, chat? How do we feel about it? I'm kind of into it. What if we did that? But then we also did this. Wait, what? Uh, oh, right here, right here, right here. And then we dyed these black. Oh, it's getting dramatic. No, that looks really bad. That looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. Still on brand, so I can mention that game. <laughs> that I don't know if that looks good. We'd have to put some gloves with it. We'd have to do like... Uh, wait, why did that just close? We'd have to do... Um, What is, what is the, why am I blanking on the race of my bunny? Not Vivian's. Oh man, I gotta try to figure out how to use the word betwixt. Betwixt, that's a good word. I gotta, how do I use that in life? Like, hey, we're not gonna let any conflict come betwixt us. It's a good word. <laughs> There's no denying it. I kinda like that. How do we feel about that look, chat? How are we feeling about that? I tried that? to play I had to go to Vancouver this week for work. Yeah. So, but I brought my mobile everything, but I got stuck with the crappy hotel internet. It Dude, just, it'll get you. It got me, man. I always used to like clown on people. It got me. It'll get you. And obviously I sprung for the high end one. It, it didn't do it. Now, what if we did that? Uh, wait, what is the, oh, it's spring boots. We need the spring boots, spring shoes. How are we feeling about that, chat? Hmm. So kind of like the chosen one. Some would say, you know, rumors would say that. Rumors have it. Rumors have it, yeah. Sources say. You like the Bright Maids tights? Uh -oh. Do I have those? I really want that uh, mask, JP. Um, I, you might get the mask as a quest reward. Spoilers? I'm not sure. No, I want the I want the class. Of, I want the mask in real life. Oh, in real life. Oh, oh. oh. Ash, if you're listening, I want to hang that in the game room. <laughs> oh man, that looks like a Death Star. Oh boy. Um. You know, let's, I was gonna go do this. This let's looks do crazy. This. Everybody in the chats filtering in. This is nuts. Oh, you're si okay. I know exactly what cutscene you're watching. That was one of the, the big, cool cutscenes. I'll, I'll stop talking. You can watch it. <laughs> He's watching the first cool Empire cutscene. It's good stuff. Uh, this is where I want to go real quick. All right, so there's PvP in the game, in case you weren't aware, but really, the only reason people oh play PvP is to look at the PvP gear. Nuts. Oh, no. Look at that. Now, this brush is going away, right? Whoa. Oh, that's a pretty this cool brush, just... actually. Dang it, look at that brush. I kind of like that brush. <clears throat> Looks like something. Oh god. Ooh, we got like anti-gravity shields. Am 
I gonna have to PvP chat? Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no one sees the creepy ah, dude standing crap. up on a cliff. Ah, crap. <sighs> Getting that stressful feeling again, JP. Stressful? From the Empire? I can be your mini has a different Blood color. Is not gonna uh, because I'm currently playing under light mode. That looks okay. Check out the better looking one. What's the plan here, guys? <laughs> that looks bad. This guy is like Raging Bull. Look at that. I don't like the uh, uh oh. I don't like the how the main part of that staff looks, but it does glow, so that's kinda cool looking. That's kinda neat. Oh. Mad snakes in trouble. Wait, did I just like skip over the other stuff? just like a giant owl. Nope. Nope. Let's take a look at the, the gear. Oh, right, this is the wolf gear. I remember the wolf gear. Looks okay. What is this? Is this the, the different wolf gear? Oh, that's the same wolf gear. You yeah, know, I agree with that bit of advice. Let's I actually kind of like that. It's actually not bad. Looks very regal. Dang, that actually looks sick. I do like the skirt on that. I agree. I agree. Oh boy. This is probably going to be... Oh man. Man, I like the top, but I don't like the... Uh... It's like literally watching a TV show. Yeah, you're getting into the story now. I'm just so interested how they're playing it. Oh, oh boy. A massacre is a coming, JP. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, I gotta, I gotta be reminded of the scenes. I'm gonna open your stream. Hold on. Oh, oh, this is the. Oh, you're in the flashback. Okay. I remember. Oh, these things are so creepy. Oh, man. Oh, right. That's the foxtail. Okay, well, none of that actually helped. Now I'm just more confused on what I want to actually do. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know, chat. Powerless to act. I don't know. How is PvP for Ninja? Are they decent? Uh, it's about what you would oh expect. 
I, I do not PvP, so I, I do not feel comfortable giving any thoughts on I it. I mean, he's lighting it up right now. That's, oh uh, boy. yeah. <clears throat> so you remember the first cutscene you saw in the game where they defeated the Dalamud in Bahamut? Yep. That's, I sure that's what do. that was, yeah. That was all a reference to that. Now, what was that gear that I was wearing, chat, that I said looked good? Was that this, the icon? Let's see what the I rest of that looks like. The ceremony and gave everyone a good fight, fright. Uh. Let's see what this full set looks like. Okay, the elder seats here wants to see me. I mean, that well. set doesn't look bad, chat. All right. It just, it's crazy, too, how it goes from, like, that's so intense to then you're back in this, like, peaceful time. It just makes me, the whole thing makes me feel uneasy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go see the boss. I feel like I got to <clears> go see the boss. Yeah, I think for, like, what, what level is that quest? 14? You're, you're very close, because the first dungeon quest is either 15 or 16, so just keep pushing that main story. How come I can't see myself on the map? Uh, you got to click into uh, Gridania. You're looking at, like, the overview map. Oh. Uh... Yeah, the, the skirt's not really doing it. Let's, uh... let's remove that. Like, that doesn't right, look the worst. But then the boots look bad, so we gotta remove those. And then those boots look bad, so we gotta get some new boots. Then we gotta turn the head off, because the head looks bad. Hmm. I really do like that body, though. How much uh, does that body cost? What are we talking here? What are we talking here? Toy chest. 300,000?! Uh, yeah, let's exit. Okay. No, we're not, uh, Misa. All right. Good Lord. You have 19 million? Don't, don't do that. Do not do that to me. I have things that I need to save for. What's up, everybody? Are you talking to people in game or the stream? Are you just screaming out to the people in Gridania? <laughs> yeah, that we Ooh, this is bad. Dude, Three good looks. Is here. Who's got looks? Biggle Wiggle? Is that who you're Biggle Wiggle. That's not a bad look, man. It's pretty good. It's all right. It's pretty good. He looks fierce, ferocious. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Did you do a oh, shirt check today? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Nope, not. Nope. I gotta go this way. I'm still, uh, my navigational skills, I'm still not an expert navigator by any stretch. But I've gotten a lot better. Oh, yeah. No, I, I feel like from, I mean, first episode to now, five weeks ago till now, it, nine day difference. That's kind of cool. Okay. That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I thought you were going to take me to a Did you do a shirt check today? I did. Yeah, they're kind of pricey still. Whoa. This is like... <laughs> this is a cool scene. I feel like it's like scene from like the bachelor or something so i'm very well lit <laughs> <laughs> i am rested i am rested oh dang i actually kind of like that look what does that look like what does that look like died oh, okay <clears throat> it looks okay it's a little hoity-toity. She has written a letter to her 
counterparts. What's up, Jesus. Dev? I'm loving the game. This is a very crucial part because I got to make my way into the caves to prove to my fearless leader that I am a worthy warrior of light. It's true. <laughs> Is Pagas going for a while? Jesus! A memorial service will be held at the Battle of Cartano. I said that wrong for sure. I'm about to buy this chap. About to buy the Icon leather I corset. Like I have to do her the favor. Yeah, she's making casting. me an envoy right now. Okay. Is there a way to. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Travel by air? Oh, yeah. Airship time. What? Private plane? I got the PJ? It's true. Uh, nothing else looks similar to this. Ah, at better times, airships were available for all. Okay. They raised the prices. I get Let's it. Let's see. How much does Icon Leather cost? Huh. 20,000. 20, How many see, of those do I need? this is a comment. Yet I was, Two. oh, not alone in desiring that you be granted the privilege of the air travel. I'm getting a lot of respect, JP. Well, yeah. I mean, you're the, you're the gas dang warrior of light. You should be. But with the power vested in me, I bid you journey forth as my envoy into the great realm of Ezra. Hope I said that correct? I believe so. All right. Eh, it's a little pricey. Let's, uh, let's How much is it? PJ. I feel like I should bow. Two ninety nine. It's like a hundred k if I buy the mats. Mm. Uh, this egg is a little tricky because again, I don't see myself on the map. Hold on, let me try again. Icon hide is like five points. I need to exit to Nofika's altar. Uh, yes? Question mark? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that's not labeled like Gradania. It's a little bit of a tough label, not gonna lie, but uh, I'm getting all sorts of noises. Oh, it's calling me now. <laughs> Jeez. I'm getting noises I've never heard before. Uh, I'm so stressed out. Okay, here we go. We're back in business. So, like, are you to the point where you could just travel around, really, without the use of a map? Uh, Yeah, for the most part. I mean, every once, like, when you're doing quests and stuff, you still want to look at a map. You, you still need it, right? Yeah, yeah. But I, like, I generally know where most mobs are in the zones and stuff like that, right. just because I've done it so many times. But I also have, like, your... The amount of aetherites that you have compared to mine is... I don't even know how many aetherites there are. Hold on. There's probably like 50 aetherites that I have. Hmm. Jeez. Throughout the game. Passing the chocobo keep. Just taking the opportunity to say chocobo. There you go. Well done. Well done. Well done. Where, are the, where is Icon Hyde from? She's very impressed that I was appointed. Is that in Mother's proud. We, made my, we made Mother proud. I mean, that's really what we're all trying to do in life is impress our parents. It's that true. mask is bad. It's so dope. Let's 
go do that real quick. Let's go buy Idle Shire. Uh, I just want to get on. I want to get on the airship. In time. In time. <laughs> okay. Those are new noises. Wait, what? Wrong door. Check out Hellstorm Cove. Oh, it's only been five years since the Calamity? I just thought it was longer. I don't have that. Where's Hellstorm Cove? Is that here? <clears throat> okay. Uh, someone's trying to trade with me. Uh, a what? It's a minion or something. Minion. I don't know. 10,000 gil? I don't even think I have 10,000 gil. You got 16 right now. Do I buy this? Uh, well, I mean, they're just trading it to you. They're giving you 10,000 gil plus the minion. For what? Just for being nice people. They're just being nice. I gotta take it, right? I assume so, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, there's no catch. I'm always looking for the catch. Ooh, that actually does look pretty good. Sweet. I obtained a whistle with which you could summon your very own man. Okay. Huh. How do I do that? This is the last stream with Jerry, yeah. Buff Mages, thanks for 32. Cool. Uh, oh, oh, so for the minions... You'll want to go to probably hit start and then go to the character thing. And then you can yep. pull up minion guide. Then you'll be able to summon that minion. I assume just hitting start and kind of going to that. Uh, yeah, minion guide. Uh, you were just at that, I think. Hmm. I did not see it. Uh, well, if you hit, so it's it's when you're in the larger menu, not your character menu. Sorry. Oh, gotcha. Minion guide. Oh, and oh, you need to I... you, you got to use the menu minion item first in your inventory. So like, open up your inventory, and then uh, use that, and then it should pop up. Sweet. <laughs> and then you should yes. be able to summon that guy. I got it. I got him or her. Yeah, the so Bomboko. Cool. Okay. I gotta go speak with someone who's like literally. You might be able to click on that little uh, pet that you got and type slash beckon, and he might crawl up on your shoulder. Where you going, dude? I don't know what the command is. Uh, I have to. So yeah, what is it keyboard. on the keypad? On the uh, keyboard? If you hit a moat, click on a moat. When you just had him selected, if you drop down to yep. a moat, and then there should be beckon in one of those tabs. Uh, oh god, there's a lot. <laughs> it might it might oh, be geez. not worth it to find unless. Okay, we'll keep it moving. Yeah, I would just say, let's keep going. Let's just keep it moving. All right. Uh, all right. That let's, does look pretty good. And it's diable. Let's go see what the diable one looks like here real quick. Is this guy, is he in here? I feel like I'm like right on the mark. Uh, oh, so you need to talk to... Lion, Lionel's at the airship landing? Yeah, so I think you go downstairs. I think you go downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah. It's like Anchorman. Downstairs. <laughs> um, can I just hop down here? There should be stairs uh, inside. Inside there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, there are. Uh, there. Wait. Come on, Jerry. Find the stairs, will ya? I mean, it looks like okay. Yeah, this stuff doesn't. I like the I like these coats, but I don't like the. Uh, too far away. Come on. 
Ooh, look at those hot pants, though. Ooh! Actually, they're a little too busy. They're a little busy All for right. me. Going to the landing area. A little busy Everyone's for me. Waiting to check. Looks Go like I'm, I'm going jogging with Nike or something. Okay, board the airship. Cool. Check out the hat. Let's check out the hat. Oh, that was a oh some that was someone from the stream giving me that stuff. Thank you, Angel. That's right. Yeah. I, forgot yeah, what, yeah. I didn't even realize. You know, I'm so locked in on the game. I didn't even put two and two together. Shout out, Angel of Grace. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. Love kind gifts with no catches. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Very generous community. That was really nice. Really generous. Thank you so much. All right. I well, mean, I just got a gift. I'm on the airship. I'm getting treated like royalty. It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's nice. I like it. I like it in this community. Oh, yeah. The, the Final Fantasy community is one of the best. It really is. In the six years I've... I think I've stated this before, but in the six years I've been playing... I can count maybe like four bad encounters that I've had with people, and that was it. And really? Usually, like I for mean, an online game, it's like you know every single day. But oh yeah, you get a couple. Of, you might even get a dozen in a day. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. Chalk one up for the community. Yeah, without a doubt. Even even with all the growth that they're seeing right now in Shadowbringers, like still everyone. I, I think the uh, the fact that it's such a story based game. It kind of like weeds out the bad eggs in a sense. Right. Like you have to have love and passion for it. Right. All right. <clears throat> God. Dude, I, I tell you what, too. This game is sneaky because you play for so long, you do not expect then to be thrust upon an airship and have this cool, like, this is just something <laughs> I did not expect to happen. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm seeing like the other so side of it. This, yeah, the cutscene you're watching right now, when I first watched that cutscene, it blew me away because you're, you're finally get, getting introduced to, like, the bad guy. Right, you're seeing the dark side. I don't yeah. know if that's what it's called, yeah. but... Well, the, it's the Empire. And the, the the beginning is, like, the, the main story of A Realm Reborn, the version of the game that you're playing, or the, the story of the game that you're currently playing, it's very much, like, Star Wars-centric. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels between the two stories, for sure. Yeah, I saw like the homage almost to the Death Star. It looked like at one point in that yep. last cutscene. Yeah, the cutscene you're seeing now is incredible. Yeah, if you guys have never seen this cutscene on Jerry's stream right now, definitely open it up because <clears throat> it's a hell of a lot more interesting than what's on my stream right now. It's it's great. You get to see Bahamut. You get to see all the nonsense. Yeah, hell of a cutscene. Or wait, that's not Bahamut, that's Midgard some more. Yeah. Without a doubt. Shoot. This is probably too one of the few games that you could stream easily for like eight hours and it goes by in a blink. Yeah. Chad, am I buying the staff? Should I just buy the staff and be done with it? Should I just buy the staff and the shirt and just be done with it all? Like, what if we just bought this shirt? Yeah, I'm seeing the the compare. I see what you're saying. I get it now. Yeah, there's some some Darth Vader. In yeah, there. it's like cool little like winks to the camera, you know. What are we doing? How much are we spending? 
6.6 milli. Here's the thing. If I buy this shirt, What's I cool have to like wear this shirt. These cutscenes just hold up seven years later or however long, many years later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a big accomplishment. I mean, I don't think that's the play. I don't think that's the play at all. I don't think that looks good. I mean, let's get some dye. Let's dye it a little bit. We could just rock that right there. And be done with the and just win in the glamour game right there. We just win. Like, boom, you're done. The glamour game has been toppled. He should watch the 1.0 trailer too. He's seen it before. You just oh boy, win. That looks smooth. Even those boots are just and then, and then maybe Nero. even you mix it up a little bit with this right here. Looking like he's about to chop someone's head off. You mix it up a little bit with this. If you get into a dungeon and see that, it's over. Number one DPS. Number one DPS. This guy's gonna hurt someone. Yep. Oh. And then you hit him with a little bit of that, it's over. It's over. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a. You're just murdering fools. That's a sword that looks like a revolver as well. That's pretty cool. One might, uh, you know, call it a gunblade's weapon if you were to. <laughs> really like a non noob experienced player would call it a gunblade? <laughs> Does it fire anything, or it just looks cool? Uh, yeah. I mean, it. It's uh, in in Final Fantasy VIII, the main characters use uh, well, characters in the game use gun blades. They're very reminiscent of that. And also in the newest expansion, Shadowbringers, there's a class called Gunbreakers, and they use that type of weapon. Magitek. What is Magitek? I don't know what Magitek is, but I'm curious. So Nero is kind of, uh, is he like an, an enforcer, kind of like commander of, uh, uh, kind of? Or am yeah. I reading that wrong? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's not the emperor. Right. Um, but he's, he did not he's look up like there. the emperor. He looked like, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't even, whoa. Okay. That was, yeah. You're getting into it now. Yeah. No, this is, oh, can't go that way. I'm kind of panicking again. I got to learn how to stay calm. Well, you're in a brand new city now, so that you're in Olda, uh, which is one of the other capital cities. Um, I can't speak. All right, I got to figure out what I'm doing. How do I get out of here? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, there should be, if you talk to uh, one of those guys, saying to should talk you to out. the Storm Honor Guard. Yeah. You should just be able to talk to one of those guys uh, as you're getting ready to leave, and it'll, it'll let oh, you out okay. of the room. I can. I just, I was looking at my. Oh, yeah, on the other side. On the other side, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. Wait. Here? There's two different exits. You're going in the entrance. Go out the other direction. This there's way? An exit. Uh, there's a little bit of delay. Yeah, that way. You're going the right way right now. You were. I can't get out okay, this way. Okay, so <laughs> if you look towards the counter, it's on the right yeah. side instead of the left side. The left lane. So if you like spin around opposite the airship, you want to hug the right wall instead of the left wall. You're currently in the left wall. You want to go on the other side of that chain link fence right there. That you're staring at. 
There you go. There you go. Woo. I figured Woo. it out. Oh, Woo. boy. Hey. What's up, newbie? <laughs> What's up, my man? Grizz is in the chat. What's up, Grizz? Okay. Woo. That was tough for a second there. We got through it, though, you know? <clears throat> okay. Wow, this is getting, this is getting crazy. Um, all right. Present. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, God. What am I supposed to What am I doing? You're right. I am a little intimidated in my new world. Ride lift. Dude. Okay, ride lift to Bulwark Hall. Okay, okay. I'm getting there, guys. We're you're, figuring you're it out. You're getting it. You're getting it. I believe. We're in the lower decks. Chat, we're doing it. We're spending money, chat. I'm tired of it. I've waited five weeks for this shirt. We're going to buy it. Okay. Uh oh. She looks mean. Hello. You mean Merle. Old Merle. That guy on the left is enormous. Uh, that, I forget who that is. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a row, just a, a big row. So for someone new to Final Fantasy XIV, would you recommend boosting or is the world worth playing through? 100%, in my opinion, the world is worth playing through. A Realm Reborn's gonna be a little bit slow, but the second you get past uh, that and you get into like Heaven's Ward and stuff, the story gets super good. And even towards the end of Realm Reborn, like the end of Realm Reborn is is really good. The the quote rough part uh, is when you finish a Realm Reborn and you have to get to Heaven's Ward. There's about probably five to ten okay. hours of quest, which are kind of fetch questy. But after that, it's really good. And even up to that point, it's good. You get to see all the different primals. You get to get introduced to the world. Uh, you get to see a ton of dungeons. Like, I'm not sensing the same chemistry. Even uh, us. let's see. So these are all the dungeons you get to see That's not prior working. to I'm 50. I'm trying to work it. They're all great. Uh, we are playing on PC. Uh, for those asking, I'm playing on PC. I should say, although I'm yep. using a controller. So if you see the icons, that's probably why. Because I'm old. I don't know how to use a keyboard. Uh, what am I typing? Oh, Indigo. Someone already bought I'm it out. I'm not trusting of her for some reason, JP. I'm not, I mean, I'm trusting her, but I don't know. She, She's the leader of Aorza, right? Is that what I'm getting? Or one of the leaders? Uh, she is the leader of Limsa Lomensa. Oh, okay. Is it worth it? <clears throat> okay. She accepts the proposal. Thank you very much. Oh, she straight up has a has a pistol on her hip. She's the equivalent of the mayor of Limsa. Okay. Thank you, uh Lacan. Lacan. Oh, it's an entire country, so more like the president. Bynon, well. thanks for okay, the tier one. that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, so there's three countries. There's Gredania, which is where you're from. Ulda, which is where you just visited. And Limp, or you might be in Limsa Lomenta right now. I'm going to Ulda next. Yeah, so you're in Limsa Lomenta right now. And then you'll go right. to Ulda, which is where I'm from. Oh, we're going to go visit your homeland. Yeah. I like that. You should be able to navigate me very easily. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Old, old <laughs> I still get lost in every once in a while. OK. 
Okay. All right. Fa ta ta. Speak with oh, the airship landing. I'm not gonna lie, this airship's giving me all sorts of trouble. Do I need to get back on the lift? Probably. Oh, because I'm not. Uh, not yeah, shot, you're building a PC. Uh, Grizz Reptar, my good buddy, just built one. Um, I had a hard time just even putting in my capture card, so talk to him about building a PC. <laughs> I, it, he, he talked me through installing my capture card. Yeah. Yeah, I just built oh, a new God. PC pretty, about a month ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you love it? Like, he calls it like adult Legos. Like, it's it is, awesome. yeah. I, I've put together it. every PC I've ever bought, so probably like 10 or 15 by now, but yeah. It's basically adult <laughs> Legos. Yeah, I just went full. I just, I got it. I'm not gonna lie. I got, I just got sent. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't, couldn't do it. It's a little nerve wracking when you have like a $500 one inch by one inch piece of uh, hardware Oof. in your hands. Yeah. It's very hard to break it. Like you can bend the pins on the back of it somewhat easily, but it only goes in one way. So if you ever have to force something, it's usually not the right process. Yeah, I had a little bit of a hard time with the capture card, but that's literally the first time I opened up a computer since probably 1989 when I had a Commodore 64. <laughs> Those of you over the age of 36 should sort of know what I'm talking about. That's true. But most of you will not. Most of you will be like, what's a Commodore 64? I would have messed anybody up in track and field back then. Oh, yeah? And pitfall. Pitfall? Oof. Yeah, that's how old I am, JP. I mean, Pitfall's good. It's a good game. Some might even say one of the greatest games. Oh, this guy's cool, too. Juan Snow. <laughs> what a great name. And a cool-looking guy. Okay. Arrivals. I guess you always have to talk to ar arrivals first, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, yes. You're gonna go meet Nanamo, I believe. First, the flame honor guard. Please take the lift down to Husting Strip. Okay. Now I gotta find this lift. It's like being in a hotel. Where's the lift? Hell yeah. Oh, what's up, attendant? Uh, barefoot. Uh, yeah, that's the point. You don't know much about Final Fantasy. Um, nor did I. We started this about five weeks ago. I'm sure some of our earlier streams are still up on VOD and stuff. Uh, my man JP here is leading me through the beginning parts of the game because I, like you, did not know much about it, but uh, I feel like I've come a long way. Yeah. <clears throat> you're working through it. I'm hoping we can get to the first dungeon. Like, I think you're very close, but if we do get the first dungeon, you're going to be a little bit over. I don't know how much free time you got. I'm going to... I mean, I might have to make it for the dungeon, man. I, plus, you know, I got to <clears throat> take advantage of the fact that I got you with me. It's true, yeah. Look at Bartholomew's gold flowing blonde locks of hair. He's the uh, paladin class trainer, I believe. At one point. I recognize him from the cutscene. That's the, that's the guy who's constantly angry. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Robon. Leaf blonde. <laughs> so rude. He uh, he's got some history in the game. I have slayed Ixel. Okay, Connie was right. Connie was correct.
Kanye was right. <laughs> no, that's not right. That's yeah, not correct. Thanks for sucking me back into this game. Still pretty low, but unlocked Dragoon. So that's that is pretty sweet. Awesome. Yeah, Dragoon's a great class right now. Yeah, take a look at that, Rogan. I do know what happened. I was I saw it. And he was never and heard Wolf from again. Uh -oh. Oh, wolves sound worse than dire mites. Magitech. Okay, that's going to be a thing. And that shirt made chat. Eureka's making it for us right now. Calamity really caused a lot of damage. Who has better DPS on group uh, ads, summoner or bard? Are you saying who has better AOE? Uh, they're both pretty good. I'd say bards probably. So wolves are going to be a thing, huh, JP? You could be honest with me at this point. It's our last episode. What do you mean, wolves? Yeah, he keeps talking about wolves. Or is he talking about back in the day? Uh, I think wolves is what he refers to as like soldiers. I think. Okay, got it. Get in the comfort okay, zone. Get that inner quiet, Eureka. Oh yeah, the sea wolves. That's a uh, it's a type of uh, Roganin, I believe. That he it's like a a race of Roganin or a country of Roganin. <clears throat> He's talking about the black wolf. That's what someone just wrote. Oh yeah. Okay. That's that's uh, the Vader guy that you saw. That's uh, Gaius's got it, got nickname. It, got it. Yeah, he's the black wolf. Okay. You may now you make use of airship routes connecting the three nations before you. There you go. Us okay, and you gotta use Gil. Okay, I'm officially like booking plane tickets now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you grab the Aetherites in those cities? It doesn't, no. it doesn't matter too, too much, but you should probably go not. grab the eighth right. Uh, okay. I should have told him to d do that earlier. I bet you Eureka's just making, like, level one gear right here. He's not even making the okay. shirt. Uh, I got the call of the sea quest. I should grab this eighth right? Uh, yeah, probably for the better. Where, where is that on the map exactly? Um, so you're going to want to go to the Merchant Strip, I guess would make sense. Merchant Strip? Yeah. I, I should probably come over to your server and leave you. Where does it By the way, this, uh, this map layout is pretty wild for this. Yeah. Old is like one of the, I would say one of the more complicated cities. I think Gradania is probably the easiest city to get around yeah, then. Old is pretty complicated, so is Limsa. But it's pretty, I mean, this is pretty cool. I like the, the layout's kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah. fun. A lot of levels, though. Here it is, chat. There it is. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm making oh my, my way god. to... Okay, here we go. <gasps> We've done it, chat. I have beaten the game. Okay, I got that Ethernet. <sighs> That's so good. Whoa. All right, we need to uh, go. Jeez, uh, how do I get to? We need to go do some glam glam here real quick. So Actually, I'm buying that staff. I'm buying the staff to go to that call of the sea. Uh, did you grab the big Aetherite? Yep. I grabbed the one. I grabbed one. So if you strip. hit, 
trying to think the easiest way to get to where you're going. Hit M again, so you're in uh, old and proper in the map. Because uh, you're looking at like world map. I just want to see the local map. It's not. How do I do that? Uh, keyboard is just M. I, it doesn't. It's weird. It doesn't let me use my keyboard when because it just wants to type in that chat thing on the bottom. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I'm not sure how to pull it up on... Maybe it's like push in on the left stick or something like that. It doesn't matter much. I, I would say just go back to, to Limsa. Let's focus on the quest. The eighth right stuff we can grab later. Right, but even when I click on the quest now, it's like a non-responsive map. Like it's not updating my position. Right, yeah. It's time to go back to Limsa. So you need to go back to the... Uh, What's it called? The airship place. Hmm. So I have to find that on my own with no map? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I think maybe try clicking on your mini map. I really wish I knew the keyboard controls to help him out. Ah, my man. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know where I'm going exactly. Hold on. So I think you want to go out here, take a left, and then take another left once you get to that smaller aetherite. And when you go talk to the guy upstairs, you can port to the airship landing. So walk forward and take a left right from where you're at. And then when you hit that aethernet shard, go up the stairs and then take another left. Okay. And then yep. at the end of the nice. hall, there should be a guy there and you can talk to him. Airship landing? Yep. How much is that? And then I'm boarding the airship? Uh, yeah, to go to Limsa. If you have the choice. Got a oh, 120 gil. That's reasonable. Yeah, you got 27,000. You're fine. Making my way. I'm getting some savings. Nah, man. That's cooler. Let's see how much this is. On my man Grizz is nerding out with the, with the PC build. I like it. That's what I like to see in the chat. Talking about various things. Uh, no, we didn't boost him, Hesperus. So we're going to do a dungeon. Jeez, look at this If we get place. to it. So where, where did I just leave? Uh, you just left Alda. Alda, okay. Got Any advice for leveling a gathering job? Um, I have not done too much campaign. leveling Sorry. of a gathering job, oh, but I think you want to use my bad. Um, face for that? Lift. Oh, God. Or, sorry, leave quest for that? I'm not sure. Down. Drowning watch. Just when you think you get like locked into one, this is just such a vast world. There's a lot, yeah. I mean, you've barely seen like an inkling of it. Nothing. I'm probably in like 0.5%, right? Yeah. Am I on Midgard some more? Yeah. So, okay, I see what's happening. All right. All right, Chad, I'm poor again. Let's 
several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Elport. Oh, you're vicinity, super close. In, in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region. The Sestasha, I'm not going to say all this wrong, Seagrot, Seagroot included. Their search revealed little save that a family of corals had taken up residence in the caves. Nothing to concern us, in short. Okay. I'm going to go search it again. Okay. I love that I'm still just rocking the mask. That's so cool. <laughs> Sestasha is located in western Lanas. Try to say it. Ferry docks in the lower level. Okay. Sheesh. Should I actually retrieve that item? All right. He said lower level, so. All right, I feel like, okay. This is not an easy nav navigation right now either over there. What do you mean? Just, no, see, that's the wrong one. Um, that's the edge, whoa. Uh, yeah, the limbs is a little bit rough, so you, you should be able just to walk there from where you're at. Right, but it's just the levels that I'm not, that's the wrong way. Okay, hold on. I feel like there's a right turn coming up that I can make. Okay. First right. Uh, through this door. Lean to the left. Might be going the longest possible route, but... We're gonna get there. Gosh, this place is cool, man. Wow. Yeah, I forgot you hadn't been in Limsy before. It's really cool. I mean, Limsy is... It's like, it looks like where you go to vacation. It's like where you go take a honeymoon. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do Emperor's Clubs there. Oh, man. I thought I found it. I'm clearly probably still... Okay, I gotta get down there. Oh, jeez. Huh. Chat... Okay. It has uh, happened. I am like several levels to. Uh, you might need to go up here. I'm gonna come over to your server. Up? I thought I needed to go down. I need to get to the ferry. That, that might be right. Uh, oh, I'm actually on your server. I think. Uh. We've done it, chat. We've reached peak glamour. How do I get down? Oh, I guess I can get down further from here. Let's grab him and help oh, him. Oh, okay. This will take me down. Looks like a little water. All right, slide. I just invited you. I accept it. Let's see where you're at. I think I'm on the right. Uh, track now. Ship it about. Lower level. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, I see. Uh, Crumnos, thanks for Twitch Prime. <laughs> I see okay, I'm here. Okay, awesome. Yep, keep going. I'll, I'll meet up with you. Is he going to Aleport? I chat? see. Gosh, this, this might be my favorite place. Yeah? You like the Grecian look? <laughs> yeah. If he's going to Aleport, I'll support there.
Okay. We're going to Alport, right? Yep. 40 gilf. Yeah, that's even like New York, right? The ferry is always the cheaper way to go. <laughs> and probably the nicest way to go. Wow, I'm here. That was quick. So where does it... Oh, it's making me go to the Hall of Novice. All right, here. I'll jump on. I'll get on a, a mount for you. Oh, you're the Temptress of Fate now, huh? Yeah, I got a new title. I mi You know, I missed my ride all day today. I didn't, you, you, were, you were doing some... I mean, I can't summon a mount in the middle of Volta, Jerry. All right? Jeez. They got they got laws there. <laughs> you drive, wow! You just drive inside. <laughs> I think this is the first dungeon, actually. I am brave. Oh yeah, the occupants of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you Oof. believe. Strolling Oof. into such a den of savagery alone Oof. could be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions. Yeah, I agree. Shall need training in the hall Amazing. of the novice. Amazing, provide. chat. Okay. Sounds like he thinks I'm a rookie. Amazing. Okay, speak with the seasoned adventure of the hall of novice. Okay. I did buy the shirt, yes. Um, okay. What's it telling you to do now? I gotta speak with the yellow jacket at the entrance of Satasha. That's the dungeon. Oh, snap. I'm gonna try and outrun you. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't even have the, the faster mount speed here. That's your low rider, though. So there's been a ship slipping around the Isles of Umbra. Okay. No, I don't think you have to do the tutorials. I think you get gear if you do the tutorials. You get that full set of green. Use the duty finder to enter Sestasha. There it is. Weapon. That's the dungeon. So that's the dungeon. That's so the this dungeon. This is happening. That's like happening. The, the, this is basically the end of the stream right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can oh, finish gosh. with the dungeon. Now, can I ask a question? Am I fighting this? I have instance, inst, instanced raids coming up now. Duty uh, finder. Yeah, okay. so it'll be the duty finder. Uh, I'll find two other people here uh, to come with us, and then we'll uh, we'll queue it up. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, is it's probably am I still doing like main quest scenario or now are we in something different? Uh, yeah, this is still this is part of the MSQ. So the dungeons are part of the MSQ. So there's dungeons which are four mans, and then there's trials which are you it start off four mans and then become eight man trials, and they're all part of the main story quest. So this entrance is is like this is duty finder right here. Uh, yeah. So if you uh, on keyboards, it's you uh, to get there on your. Uh, controller, you probably would want to go to hit enter and then scroll over to duty, and then you could probably see it there if you hit uh, or if you click on duty finder. Um, when you hit start, yep. I believe, yeah. So that'll that that's how you normally queue. Um, but we're gonna queue with uh, with some only a party MSC. leader may register for duty. Right, right, right. Other parties recruit. So if you're solo, uh, like if you're playing the game completely that's by yourself, you're doing this offline. You could just log in. Go to that thing and hit Q, and it'll find three other people, another DPS, a tank, and a healer, and then you could just do the dungeon with those complete random people. The simple fact that we need a tank and a healer tells me it's going to be a bloodbath. So we're just waiting, right? Yeah, I'm going to grab two people uh, from the FC, and we'll do it here real quick.
Whew. Here we go. This is going to be... It's going to be something. All right. So you're going to want to hit commence. I'm scared. I commenced. I commenced, JP. I commenced. All right. It's going to throw us in. Oh, boy. Oh, Angel of Grace, who gave me all that good, says he's a healer. And he was online. All right. I think we're in right now. Yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't realize. It's all right. Next time, though, Angel. Oh, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Sustasha is an interesting place. It's underwater. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, we're in like a cave type deal. Right. All right, this is the dungeon. We're okay, I'm just following mobs. you guys. Oh boy. We'll so we pull, just fight. Uh, we just could fight anything. Uh, well, there's like there's mobs on our path, and then there's three bosses. You'll see. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is your your pretty much your traditional MMO dungeon here. Got a tank, a healer, two DPS, kind of work our oh, way who's through. Oh, has got Tinkerbell flying around with him? Uh, that's that. the healer. Uh, that's nice. a scholar. Or an arcanist, really. Let's turn the music down, Jesus. Alright, when we kill this mob, go read, the, go read this memo over here. You gotta tell us what color the memo says. Yeah, we'll do some big pulls a little bit later on in the dungeon. So okay, go read. Come over here and read this. Okay. A <laughs> bloody memo. Okay. You find a bloodstained scrap of parchment with the message scrawled upon it in faded ink. The captain likes his wine red. All right. So that's going to come up when we get to the first boss here in a sec. Okay. Now there's no music for some reason. Uh, we'll do some bigger pulls once we get through the beginning of this, just so you can kind of ease your way into it. Yeah, it's kind of nice not having to maintain the knock game. You're right. I like the focus, the quietness. You know, you're you're trying to do your best, Jerry. That's what. Matters. Yeah, I don't want to mess this up. This is like, you know, this is the final. <laughs> This might be, this is the final part of the stream. I want to really, I want to do this right. Yeah. Uh, so these mobs right here, that clam only opens up at certain intervals. So you want to focus that down first because it spawns those little shade seekers. It's like the mechanic, if you were. Uh -oh. oh, I just got hit hard. You tab targeted those mobs. Whoa. That's fine, he'll pick him up. What a tab targeter. Ooh, from distance. I just had a distance shot. Yeah. Do you have I don't does he have AoE at that level, chat? I forgot what level 
uh, bards get AoE. Surprised Tank isn't just grabbing everything. Oh, I told him not to grab everything. That's by design. Yeah, I didn't want him to just, like, get rushed through this, because, you know, this is Jerry's first dungeon, man. It's a big deal. Yeah, unfortunately, Cam, he's he's got to go after this. Jerry's, uh, you know, he's a Hollywood actor. He's a busy guy. He's got stuff going. Uh, but we might run him off stream. Or not off stream, but like off sponsored stream. Uh, if Jerry nice, ever guys. To return. I feel like we're ripping through this. Yeah, yeah, these aren't necessarily the, the most difficult things. Um, Says you. Well, I mean, they've, they've definitely toned them down. Uh, over time, like when you when this dungeon first first came out when the game first released, it was definitely a little bit of a different uh, thing. You used to have to kind of take your time here, and these mobs would would definitely hurt. All right. So when he read that message, what did he say? It said he likes his wine red. All right, so we're gonna click the red coral formation. Here, I'll let you, you can click it. If you click the other two, you get an extra mob before this boss here. We hear something moving in the distance. Got this switch over here. <laughs> inconspicuous switch. That's yeah, very inconspicuous. Oh, boss spawned. What? The boss right here. The chopper. The last boss is going to be funny. I just realized that hopefully we'll, we'll actually have to maybe do the mechanics. See, pretty easy. And here's some gear. Well, when I got like a squad with me that knows what they're doing, yeah. I mean, if I was by my, you know, that was certainly easier. Sure, sure. But um, I, I do not take that for granted by any stretch. All right, Treasure so we got coffer. some. Uh, I talk to this guy, right? Treasure coffer? No. Yeah, yeah. So that dropped. Uh, dropped Bosses dropped a piece of gear. So that dropped a uh, headpiece Ooh, for tanks. Uh, None of us need it, so if you if you want it, then you can. Why does it say greed or pass? Plundered. So the so pass means you just won't roll on it whatsoever. Uh, greed means that you'll roll on it, but you can't necessarily use it for this class. And if something drops and you can need it, that means that you can actually equip it right away. So should I greed it or pass? Yeah, I would greed it in case you ever want to level level a uh, tank up. Okay. Dead man. Whoa, there's still... Okay. Oh, yeah. No, that that was boss one. There's three bosses. We still got a little bit of ways. Probably like 15 minutes max more. I can tell him to pick up the, the pulls a little bit. I like my squad right now. Ain't yeah. gonna lie. <laughs> Whoa. A little bit of a mini boss. If 
First trial is Ifrit at 30, right, chat? Or is it 20? It's 20. That's right. I forgot because I, I feel like when the game originally launched, 15 to 20 was crazy. Like crazy amounts of quests. I remember like getting capped on, like I would have, at this point, I would have all of my, uh, oh, the, you got a Marauder War Axe. So again, can't use it, so you'll greet it. Maybe Pass we'll it a, or greet uh, it? Yeah, greet it, greet it. That's another, it's a uh, Marauders or Tanks. Got it. It's a two-handed axe. So we're gonna do a little bit bigger pull here. Yeah, I remember like 30 took me like 60 hours to get to or some crazy. It was a long time. I remember grinding to 30 and being like, geez, this game is going to take so long to level in. Well, there you go with the level up. It's a level up. Oh. I got something new. Oh yeah, did you get a new ability? Looks like it. What'd you get? I don't know. All right, so I gotta pick the key up here. Got it, I got it. So now we obviously won't experience it today on stream, but uh, immediately following Ooh, this, you get- Blood letter. You get two other dungeons that you have to go do. So they kind of like throw you in pretty deep with three dungeons right out of the gate. They're all pretty different. They kind of teach you different mechanics in the game. We are wrecking people. <laughs> All right, here's a boss. A little bit of a mini boss again. Now we gotta get his key. Someone got it, right? Yeah, yeah, I grab it. We're over here. We're almost towards the the last boss. This boss usually has kind of like the first introduction of boss mechanics, but the way that um, actually it's, it's right after this guy, the way that uh, the game scales damage now, we probably won't see any of the mechanics. We might be able to slow DPS or something so we can see it. Why are they running right at me? Uh, they're going towards the healer, I think, because the healer grabbed aggro. Or the healer has aggro over the tank. So that gate's gonna open here in a little second. Yeah. 
they're coming towards the healer. <clears throat> so there is somewhat of a story, obviously, in this dungeon, but we're kind of running right. through it so fast. And that continues on. Like, every dungeon that you go to in the main story, or every dungeon that you go to in the game is... Most of them, 95% of them, are part of the main story quest, so there's always a reason. Alright, maybe I'll get a weapon. Uh, nope. You got a magic belt. Magic user belt. Still, still nothing. Alright, this will be the biggest pull to the dungeon. Uh, does he have his... Oh, he doesn't have his limit break. One to limit break. Maybe we should actually get him to put his limit break on his bar. Uh, after this, I'm going to have you put an extra button on your bar. Okay. starting to get the combos now a little bit better yeah a little bit like i'm seeing kind of so the right combos that give you the most kind of damage it seems like right we're while we're fighting this uh open up your uh your actions so like okay. character actions and traits yep and go down to general hold on character uh, character actions? Yeah, yeah. So hit start, and then in that first, yep. that first oh, window. Oh, actions and traits? Yeah, actions and traits. Yeah. And then scroll down to general. Yeah. And then see where it says limit break? Yeah. Add that to your bar. Invalid target. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, press a button. Let's put it on... Um, can I drag it here? Oh, sweet. Okay. All right. Okay, so Tell I should bar. use that. Yeah, so target one of these mobs, and uh, there you go. Whoa. What on earth was that? <laughs> so in, uh, in dungeons, you see in the top left corner how it says limit break up there? Yeah. That bar will fill over time. Uh, right. in, in four-man dungeons, before the final boss, it's one bar. Uh, at the final boss, it's two bar. And then in eight-man dungeons, it's three bars. And each one does subsequently more damage. And each different roll within the game does a different thing. So as a ranged DPS, yours is always kind of like that line that you just did. Right. But the animation and the, the graphic to it get like crazier and crazier as you like level up. Or is the is the group size increases? So this is the boss. This final boss. Yep. Yeah. This is the the final boss. So you should use that whenever it's available. Yeah, and it'll build over time. Typically, like generally, you'll want to save it for. You're gonna aggro the boss if you go any further. Oh, am I not supposed to do that? Uh oh. Well, I mean, you're not the tank, man. You gotta let the tank pull. I was just getting a closer look at him. <laughs> uh. Typically, you want to use it for the boss, but we used it on the, the trash there so that we could do it in, in time. So, see where it says unnatural oh, ripples so right gone. here? Yeah, it's gone. It'll build up over time. See this unnatural ripples Go to the right natural here? natural ripples? Yeah, yep. so that stuff will start. Um, you'll start seeing like water splash through it. Okay. When they bubble. Uh, and if you don't right click it, then they'll start to spawn ads. So, just stand on that one, and that one's going to be the one that you click. So, if you see it start to bubble up, make sure you right click it so the ad doesn't spawn. We'll probably kill right the boss click. before we see that mechanic because of the way damage is, but. We'll, we'll maybe try to see it spawn. 
OK。Yeah, and the party also shares the LB, the limit break. So if you use it, then the other three people in the party can't use it, which is fine. You're you're a damage dealer, so usually damage dealers in four-person parties will be the one to use so it. So they're fine that I used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's it's clicking. You got to click your unnatural ripples over there. What do I click? Just where it says unnatural ripples, you should just be able to like click it and press X. There you go. Oh. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, got it. Yeah, generally you don't really need to do this because uh, the boss will just die so fast. But figured since it's first time here, so see how this just spawned. So now an ad spawn. Now we got to deal with the ad. You can really just focus on the boss, and the, the ads will be ignored. But. Yeah, I'm using keyboard and mouse turns. That's true. If I had to do this all over again, I'd probably play specifically with a uh, controller when I play with Jerry. All right. Yeah. There you go. First dungeon done. Oh, I am enjoying this game with my <laughs> crew right here. You get a little bit of a cutscene. I think you get another one at the end. Dungeon Master. Dang it. We that didn't was get awesome, any of it man. for him. Do I have that? Action learned. Quick knock. Oh, did you hit Whoa. 18? That looks awesome. What did you hit? I want to use it. Oh, I think you just learned a roll action, maybe? I learned quick knock. <clears throat> oh, that's your AoE. That's your AoE ability. Ooh, should so, I check yeah. the treasure? Yeah, I dropped a caster chest, unfortunately. Greet it. Yeah, just greet it. Oh, I saw a rogue. Yeah, yeah, that's the the caster chest piece. We're taking it. So we're out. Yep, that's that. And uh, I think that's it for the stream. I think you're good. I think that's your. You completed <sighs> the first awesome. steps into uh, Final Fantasy. So I'm about point <clears throat> oh 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 one percent through. Yeah, if I had to tie a percentage to it, I'd say like 5% in, maybe. You're, my, you're pretty early my, on. My friend Angel Grace is still looking to get, is giving me more stuff. Look at that. 25 <laughs> al go goat milk, basically. Uh, so that's food. You can eat the food and get a little bit better uh, stats and also, I think, some percentage XP bonus. Okay. Uh, how, all right. So yeah, yeah next time inventory. you're in a dungeon or next time you're leveling, yeah. You oh, don't eat that. it now. Yeah, yeah, don't eat it now. Thanks, um, Angel Grace. So yeah, the other thing, if you, uh, this area, the the Hall of the Novi Novice, where you first were here, if you go back yep. over to the Hall of the Novice, uh, if, when you want to keep playing, you can do uh -huh. like some trials there, and you'll get a full set of green gear, uh, like full set of level fifteen gear. And also a ring that gives you, I think, like 10 or 25% more XP while leveling up till, I want to say, 50. So it's pretty beneficial to uh, to grab that if you're a new player. Gonna do it. Oh, man, I'm hooked. So there you go. I mean, so this is this is the, the, the uncomfortable moment for me, JP, because I'm bad at goodbyes. And I don't, <laughs> this is... You know, we are new friends, and I, I do understand that while you are, you know, far superior in your hours and gamesmanship of Final Fantasy, can I still call upon you? Yeah, as a man, new of course. Friend Shoot me a text to, whenever. To I, help me. <laughs> I hope that you, I like, in all sincerity, I hope that you continue playing the game because it, it only gets better and better the more stuff you do. Like, once you finish these next two dungeons uh, in the main story quest and you hit 20. You'll get to fight like your first trial. Uh, so you fight a thing called Ifrit, uh, which is an eight, uh, it's still four man boss, but it's much more epic than what we just did, in my opinion. It's got like crazy music, the visuals are real crazy. It looks really cool. Um, and it only gets ins more and more insane the further you go, the deeper you go in the game. So, one thing I did, I was talking earlier in the stream about, you know, I had to travel to Vancouver for some work and I brought my kind of mobile setup, yeah. which obviously isn't great for streaming, but just in terms of gaming, it's fantastic. And this is the perfect game 
when you're kind of going on the road, you know, I sometimes when I go away to work, like I have hours where I'm just in the hotel room. I don't know anybody. I'm like by myself. Right. So right. this is, I feel like this will be a great travel game for me. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, bring a laptop or, or bring a PS4. As long as you get the hotel internet right, which is always sure. uh, that's always a dicey. Game. But um, yeah, man, I'm this this is this is the exact sort of thing I was looking for, uh, and it lived up to the hype. And I know I am only a tenth, not even a tenth, a tiny piece of the way through. So I yeah. thank you for your patience because I'm sure man. I, you know, just not even knowing where to go or like the simplest. No, man, that, that's how everyone starts out. The the zones in this game, and there's there's so much stuff when you first get started. It can be a little overwhelming. So I, I think, and I hope that by you showing that that's normal and me saying, like, yeah, it's completely normal, people will be a little bit more uh, prone to, to jump in themselves. That was kind of the, the goal, I think, for all this. Because it, it can be super overwhelming. There's a billion people running around that are all doing different things. Uh, and it's it's sometimes unclear how to get started, so... So quick pitch, um, and then I'll let you go. But, you know, maybe I'll take two weeks, four weeks, make some progress. Then maybe uh, we just, even if it's a quick co-stream, just to kind of check in on progress. Yeah, I can by all show means. you what I've learned. Yeah, I'd be super into it. I'd be super into it. Awesome, man. Well, thank you again for your patience. Thank you for welcoming me, welcoming me into the world. Thank you to, like, everybody on your stream who has been super cool in the chat and showing love to me and everybody who like tuned in it really was awesome and i really do feel like it is one of the more welcoming communities that's just happy to have people who are passionate about the game or even just giving it a chance to be passionate about the game so very very impressed with 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 everything and and uh it was awesome man i appreciate it dude awesome i'm glad you had fun i chat just called it out you know we got through this entire thing and i never called you the thing that I uh, said I was going to call you in the first episode. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> what was, and what might that be, dude? I, don't, I think I'm, I've only had I it shouted even... at me 40 times today. So <laughs> let's do it one more time for the people. You could say it. It's, right. We've crossed okay. that path now. Have Jamie. we? Have Have I earned the respect uh, or, or the, the ability to call you? You have. Okay. If you would like to go for it, you now officially have All the right. green light. Thanks again, Turtle. It's been fun. <laughs> Listen, it is yesterday was the 15 year anniversary. I saw that, man. Of the airing of the pilot, so I think it's very <laughs> fitting, you know, cuz I do think my the turtle character was one of the first characters in the history of television to play a game online, albeit it was the boxing game, but we also right. showcased that there's video game and esports tournaments going totally. on that yeah, are I super remember. fun. So uh you know, I think it's very fitting to end like that. So you now have the official green light. You are allowed, you have granted permission to scream that at me at any time. <laughs> and I will not go give you some expletive. Although 45 <laughs> people did it today. I just, uh, yeah, no, you know, I, I kind of keep it. my head I won't down abuse and it. it. All right. It'll just be a thing. It'll just be a thing. It's a thing. So awesome, anyways, man. Well, uh, I appreciate thank it, man. you again and uh, keep in touch. And uh, yeah, again, to everybody in the community and all your viewers, and some of mine. Uh, thank you guys for having me. And we're going to do some more cool stuff down the road. Fantastic. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, hit me up anytime. We'll definitely jump in and play some Final Fantasy. For sure. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace, JP. Bye. All right. That's it. That's it. We're saying goodbye to Jerry Ferrara. Uh, huge shout out once again to Square Enix for sponsoring these Steam. These Steams? Jesus. These streams. Uh, this will now be the second expansion in a row. I think. Did we do one for Heaven's Ward? I don't know. We might have. I don't remember if we did one for Heaven's Ward. This might be the third expansion in a row that Square Enix has chosen to partner with us. It's definitely the second one because I remember doing one with Stormblood um, last time with uh, Dodger, uh, Strippin, and Aurelian, uh, aka Aaron, aka my fiance. Um, so, yeah, a little bit different here for the launch of Shadowbringers, but it was fun. I enjoyed it, uh, and I'm always happy to work with uh, Square, and always happy to work with people like Jerry and uh, meet new faces. So, uh, yeah, that's it. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to follow Jerry's stream over at twitch.tv slash Jerry Ferrara. Uh, that's two R's in Ferrara, two R's in Jerry. You can follow his Twitter as well. Uh, and if you're watching on Twitch, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to stand up, 
go get a uh, bite to eat, try to find something to snack on, and uh, we'll probably keep playing some Final Fantasy, because I have dailies to do, I've got roulettes to do, I mean, might jump over to some Dragon Quest Builders too, maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Who's to say? Uh, I will be right back, though, with more. So we'll see you guys in uh, just about three or four minutes. <laughs> 